The mind of an autistic child can be an endless labyrinth of confusion and sensory overload, and no one can understand it better than the child itself. But who would have thought a little blue tank engine could captivate a child's heart and help them build their learning processes? Thomas the Tank Engine, or what it used to be, may seem like an ordinary children's television character. But there's no denying the cultural impact he has on today's society. Once again, it's April. And April, among other than one day of foolery, is Autism Awareness Month. Most of you probably already know what autism is, especially if you are a parent with a child watching this, or you know someone who has autism. For those that don't, there are a lot of things you need to know about autism, but let's give you the Cliff Notes version. Autism is a learning disability that creates problems for people in terms of interacting socially with others and recognizing facial cues. A learning disability means we have a different way of thinking about things. But by no means does that make us retarded. What does this have to do with Thomas, you may ask? Well, bunker down, it's time for a little history lesson. In 1946, Thomas the Tank Engine made his first appearance in the second book, aptly named by the titular character of the Railway series. The book series was created by the Reverend Wilbert Audrey to entertain his sixth son, Chris, one year earlier. Thirty-four years later, a woman named Britta Oldcroft found one of the Railway Series books and brought it to life in 1984 as Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends on the ITV network in the United Kingdom. At first the show went unnoticed in its early stages, but soon came to claim the United States on a kids' television show, Shining Time Station. Produced by Britt Allcroft, Shining Time Station brought the Little Blue Tank Engine overseas to introduce to a whole new audience of excited kids. The show blended together live-action segments with episodes from the Thomas the Tank Engine series, narrated by the magical Station Master, Mr. Conductor, who was portrayed by Ringo Starr and then George Carlin, may he rest in peace, for the rest of the series when Starr left. Despite receiving critical acclaim and three Emmy nominations, after four years on the air, Shining Time Station came to an end, and Thomas the Tank Engine lived on. The series kept trundling on, despite their flap at the box office with Thomas and the Magic Railroad. In 2009, Thomas took a radical new approach by dumping the live-action models in favor of CGI with a full voice cast. This was met with backlash from parents who disagreed with the new format and despite the newer forced educational route. The parents chose to look at the CGI Thomas as an entirely new project. Autistic children struggle with reading facial expressions, but with the classic model Thomas series, they are given a single face with an easy-to-understand emotion. Spawning over 16 seasons, several specials, and a feature-length motion picture, the series has been found to help the learning process in autistic children. But hey, don't take our word for it. Back in 2001, a survey by the National Autistic Society said that 57% of children on the autism spectrum preferred Thomas over any other children's character. And now, in 2012, what used to be 1 in 10,000 kids having autism or Asperger syndrome has soared to 1 in 88 kids. Meaning out of 88 children born, 1 out of the 88 will either have autism or Asperger syndrome. What can you do to help? Help spread the word in your own community. Or visit www.autismspeaks.org for more information. Thomas has been helping kids with autism worldwide for nearly 70 years. And as long as he's around, children on the autism spectrum will always be able to look up to him. Remember, everyone can make a difference. 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 The following PSA has been brought to you by Rated Y2K Studios. Miss Oliver and Blossom Productions. Fearless Freddy 234 Productions. Yay. And Comedy Chaos Television.